Honestly, let me tell you guys, July's reads were all right. There was two out of the six that I really, really loved. You want to know which ones? Stay tuned. So, oh wait, did I tell you guys why I'm in my car? I'm in my car because I am on my way to the library. But before I return these, I was like, I was like, dude, I want to go to the library ASAP so I can get a new book because I put some books on hold and there's one that's ready. But I'm like, wait, I need to film before because I don't want to return them and then film after. I want to have them so I can show them to you guys so you guys can see the test. So you guys can see the book. You know what I'm saying? I don't just want to say which ones. Like, I want to show you guys. So, let's start off with the series. I got this series by Nicola Marsh and these are my first books from her honestly these were all right the first one is the boy toy and the second one is the man band i like the second one more than the first one i just feel like these relationships were just too rushed if you get what i mean they were simple there wasn't like a heartbreak or anything like that but i also like them more realistic if you know what i'm saying and these it's just like not really realistic the boy toy it was cute it kind of got into it really fast but shit happened and i was was like whoa okay it was and eh. i knew that the man band was gonna be about this specific character this character is mentioned in the first one kind of but not as much i just found him very intriguing and i said dude like the second one is gonna be about this character like i just fucking know it and it was i really liked him as a character i just liked his whole vibe his personality you know like his character it was like good vibes i feel like some people might take it like very kind of cocky or something like that but you know he was just like confident he knew what he wanted he knew what he didn't want that's what he stayed away from until you know then shit happened i thought it was really cute i really liked their relationship in the man band they were just very like funny and they just went together i really liked how they played around with each other but also took it very serious like they knew when to play around when to not like when to take it serious both of the relationships were cute there is an age difference on both of them i don't want to tell you like the age difference like who was older and who wasn't <laughs> but you know my dude on the first one in the boy toy was very mature they were all very mature Dude, the camera keeps moving it like keeps moving forward i'd be like this shit is about to fun so if you guys kind of see like here they're closer not closer it's because it's kind of moving <laughs> Anywho, it might be because I'm moving. It's because I talk with my hands a lot, if y'all haven't noticed. So, these were cute. Have you guys read these books? Have you read any more of her books? I kind of want to read some more of her books. These are, these were like, eh, but, you know. Let's get on to the next ones. These two books are from Taylor Jenkins. Read. Rain, the author of the seven husbands of evelyn ugo and i got this because i thought they'd be interesting i wasn't like the biggest fan of the seven husbands i thought it was like a little bit too overhyped it was cool it was interesting but it wasn't like the whole hype okay the camera is moving forward <laughs> i keep scolding it back one true loves it was cute it was interesting it played with you dude like it played with you you just didn't know who homegirl was gonna choose you like wanted her to go one way you were like dude what the fuck is she gonna do who's she gonna choose and then there was like a point i was like are you fucking serious like are you that fucking dumb like are you really gonna go this way like you were here and you were gonna go this way now you're going this way like like what the f like make it make sense home girl it was like whatever i thought it was gonna be a little bit more interesting i don't know i expected a little bit more the whole story was cute it's just about true love you know either way it's just true love and having the opportunity to love to love for the first time to love a second time i feel like it kind of went on and on and in circles when it was like i just wanted her to fucking choose it was crazy because what happened you were like no fucking way since the beginning i was like dude what like what like a husband a fiance like what <laughs> Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. You guys, maybe in another life, this shit was just too fucking confusing. Like, you don't get it until the end because it's until the end where it kind of explains it. And it doesn't even explain it. It's like the character explaining something and you're like, wow, this is all of it. It's just two different perspectives. Something happens and then it's like it continues, but then it's like a whole different way. And then it just kept going back and forth. And I was like, what the fuck is real? What isn't? Is any of it real? Is she imagining one way? Is she living one thing? but wanting it to be this other way i was like like what the 
fuck is going on after i was just like dude like i just want to know what happened it's not that it was that interesting but i just wanted to know what the fuck happened and i found out and it was just like really like it wasn't like oh my god like i was just like really whatever <laughs> On to my favorite last two books of the month, you guys. I finally read Part of Your World. Ah, shout out to the cousin for letting me borrow it. I read Yours Truly first before this one. This one is the first one and then it's Yours Truly and then it's Just for the Summer. I put Just for the Summer on hold at the library and hopefully I fucking get it soon. You guys. <sighs> it was so cute it was so lovely yours truly is still my favorite i love that one but this one was just so lovely it was just so cute it went right into it y'all know the whole sex scene it's just like okay let's let's keep it moving you know but you were just like no she didn't they were just from two different worlds and you just don't expect it and you're like dude is it gonna happen is it not i love their chemistry i loved their relationship y'all know a fling doesn't always end up just being a fling her books are interesting she doesn't go on and on about one thing like i just found it interesting the whole way you know what i'm saying it's just like ugh, like wow like it's so lovely oh i loved it i totally recommend it i guess i would recommend you guys reading this one first but if you guys read yours truly first it doesn't really matter because it's about different characters you know it's not like it's going in this chronological order which i mean it kind of is because it's serious but it's not about the same person it's different characters if that makes sense i didn't mind it it didn't make a difference for me so if you read the other one first it's cool yours truly do like oh my god oh mg you guys my favorite book of the month was book lovers ah, by emily henry this is my first book from her and this book got recommended to me on tiktok by my followers shout out my followers shout out the book talk community i got other books recommended from her but this one was the only one no actually there was another one there but it's a series but it, there was only one book there so i was like i'd rather just get them when like the whole series is here so i can get them all you know what i'm saying because if it's a series like i want to read them at the same time not one one month another one another month you know what i'm saying so i got this one you guys i fucking love this one and i can not wait to read more of her books i loved it i love the whole vibe oh my god it was just so fucking cute you guys so it was a romance you know so she builds this romantic relationship with you know another character whatever but i also really like how it wasn't just about their relationship but her relationship with a family member and just her individually you know like what she's struggling with and what the other character is struggling with honestly it was like kind of a, like all the characters and i just really like that how it's not just the romantic side but it, it kind of goes way beyond that and you could really relate to the book i really related to it to be honest she's a sibling she's the oldest i'm the oldest and i just i really related to her you guys do it in so many ways and it got me in my feelings on that topic i've never been in a relationship with another person i don't have any exes i've never been in a serious relationship like i've been single my whole fucking life in the relationship wise like i don't relate to it but it just gets to me you guys like i love love i could not stop sobbing i was literally crying towards the ending like i was sobbing this book had me crying you guys go follow me on tiktok go follow my list talks books page i post reactions to the books that like really get to me like this <laughs> I was literally crying on there because I couldn't. I just I couldn't do that. I just had to share it with you guys. I like to share my real reaction on which one was it? I think it was on maybe in another life too. I was just like, dude, like what the fuck? Because that one had me like, what the fuck? I was so fucking confused, and I just love hearing your guys' perspective. Like, are you guys also confused? How do you guys feel about it? Were you guys crying like me and all up in your feelings? That's why I created Let's Talks Books so I can connect with you guys more about books. I just love how I've been connecting with people about books like it's so cool like i love talking about books i love talking about what you guys thought about it you know and i show what i think about it my reaction i want to know your guys' reaction be you guys book lovers oh my god it was so cute i loved it i loved it five fucking stars i totally fucking recommend it you guys are going 
to love it those are all the six books that i read this month and i cannot wait for the books that i will read in august i put six on hold at the library and i'm just so excited i told you guys how i've been wanting to read a fantasy and somebody recommended me a fantasy book so i'm really excited to get that one i feel the vibes like i feel like i'm going to like it like i'm going to be interested there's other ones that i've seen on tiktok where a lot of people have read that one the same one kind of comes up and i'm just like i don't know like i feel like it's just gonna be over high do you guys feel the same way i don't know that's why I, like i get recommendations but i also just get whatever like calls my name at the library you know if somebody recommends it i feel the vibes i'm like it kind of sounds interesting but if it doesn't then it doesn't you know what i'm saying i don't know i'm just because i'm very off vibes like i feel the vibes even just through the screen you know what i'm saying i hope you guys feel my good vibes make sure to follow liz talks books follow me on tiktok i am on book talk liz talks books baby i have the link down in the description box but it's liz talks books you guys can look me up so you guys can see my reactions of books i also review them there i post other book related stuff so make sure to follow me on there comment down below what books you read in july your favorite book that you read in july and and comment down below some book recommendations thank you so much for watching i love you guys i appreciate you guys so much i'll talk to you guys in the next list talks books video next tutorial y'all know i'll be posting some other stuff on here but every month i have to let you guys know what books i read <laughs> because i love it oh my god you guys it's just i love reading like it's such a fucking vibe anywho <laughs> talk to you guys in the next video bye